Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Dave, KD0DK. That's a pretty cool call sign. It's a, oh, what do they call it when you can invert it? Um, yeah, can't remember the name. Okay. He says, hi, Dave. My name is Dave, KD0DK. I have been licensed since 2013, so he's been around a while. I operate mainly CW using a Yaesu FT450D transceiver. That is the entry-level full-size um, Yaesu transceiver. It's 100 watts. Uh, it's rather inexpensive, six or seven hundred dollars, um, and it's served him well since 2013, apparently. He says, up until recently, the rig has worked flawlessly from 5 to 100 watts. Most recently, I have noticed on 20 meters, the radio will shut down while I am transmitting CW. This has happened while transmitting between 75 and 100 watts. Below that threshold, I have not observed any problem. I'm wondering if I have a problem with the radio. No. Or could it be something else, yes, that's causing the radio to shut down? Okay, uh, Dave, the problem you're having is with RFI. Now let's take a look on the uh, overhead here. Let me get it in the right place. You've got your radio, the 450D, okay, and you're operating CW, so I'm going to just put a key here. Okay, then you've got a cable going to an antenna. Now what is happening is that some of this RF is either coming back down the line or coming via the air or is getting into the keying line uh, or is getting into your power supply or coming in on the line cord. Okay? Now, the thing you need to ask yourself is what changed when this started to happen? New antenna, new cable run, uh, running the cables differently, different power supply, um, some new device in the house uh, that might catch that RF and put it on the power line, um, or, or what? Okay, now you can try for your key. This is uh, my little hand key. This is the um, reference key. Okay, I, ha I do have a J38, but I've got the reference key here because uh, I run the reference station. Okay, this line right here is shielded, which is uh, very helpful in making sure that the key line is shielded. Okay, so uh, the RF can be coming right back down on the outside of the line. So you can pick up some um, of these uh, ferrite snap-on beads. Let me show you some. Take me a moment to get them out. You get these kinds of things on uh, Amazon. Uh, here we'll just take a look at this one. It's got a space for a cable to go in there. And then this comes around like this and snaps shut. Okay, and this is big enough you can actually run the cable a couple times through it uh, before you put it into there. And this will help remove the RFI from the cable. Another thing you can do this is an MFJ product and unfortunately it's been outside um, it is a piece of coax between here wrapped with like 30 beads okay let's see if we can find this on MFJ it's so hard to find anything on MFJ anymore it just really is I don't like their new website very deep. You have to hit the search term exactly. It will not go 
and say, oh, RFI, let me look for all things that have any association with RFI. It doesn't do that. Um, I'm going to look for choke. I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do is call uh, MFJ and ask him what this thing is because, see, there's the label on it right there, and you can't tell what that uh, used to say. But this you can put on your cable just before it comes into the radio, which means you'll need a short jumper. <sighs> Boy, that thing's dirty. Here's another thing you can do. Uh, if you are having trouble with conducted emissions, meaning coming in through the power supply, this is an MFJ AC line RFI filter, and it's an MFJ 1164 Bravo. Okay, and this has all kinds of stuff in here to keep conducted emissions from coming into the radio. So you're going to have to narrow down what you're going to use. I would suggest that what you do is try moving cables around. If you did do something prior to this issue, undo it or redo it a different way, something like that. Because it's just on one band and it's just when you go above a certain power level that it breaks into here. You want to make sure that this thing is extremely well grounded, okay? That will help a great deal. Your antenna should be grounded if you can. Kind of hard to ground a dipole. Um, and try running the thing on a 12 volt battery um, and see how well that works. Okay, if you get the same problem, it could be something coming in the power supply. So, in short, Dave, uh, you've got some detective work ahead of you to figure out how the RFI is getting into your radio. There are things that you can do. Things like these, these chokes that I showed you are readily available on uh, Amazon. They're also available via MFJ. Uh, there's just all kinds of ways that you can get them and have them work for you. If worse comes to worse and you can't figure it out, you're just going to have to operate on 75 watts. That's down 25%, which is about 2-ish dB, okay? And uh, that's only on transmit. Your receive is fine, uh, as it normally is. Um, I know it can be very frustrating. Nobody likes to get RF into the radio. It's not really good for the radio. Um, but keep trying. Move, move things around. Keep trying everything. Look at your entire radio system and see if something in there has changed, moved. You can add a ground rod. You can um, change the length of the connectors. You can ground your rig to your power supply. You uh, and you can make sure the power supply is also uh, grounded and so on and so forth. So I am confident in you, Dave. I'm sure you'll find it. And I hope I've given you some ideas that might be useful. And hopefully other people who have the same problem. Believe me, it's not an unusual problem. I've had it myself in the past. So there you go. If you would like to help support this channel, all of you out there, please go to dkessler.com support to do either Patreon or PayPal. And um, also please subscribe. Those who subscribe are Augies, O-G-G-I-E-S. That means followers of OG. And if you um, have any questions, uh, send them to askdave, all one word, at arrl.net. I need more questions to answer in the ARRL column. And until we next meet, 73.